We are seeing that blue green algae in different parts of southwest Florida and we found it in one pretty familiar spot today. We want you to have a look at it. This is that latest look at the North Shore Park at the, right there at the edge of uh, the 41 bridge in North Fort Myers. Now, of course, we are talking to people in the community who live near this area about what they think about what's going on and what should be done there with blue green algae. But for now, I want to toss it over to Fox 4 meteorologist Cindy Pressler, who is joined by Professor Barry Rosen from Florida Gulf Coast University to talk more about this blue green algae. Cindy. Professor Rosen, thank you so much for joining us. But I think my first question has to be, it's been so hot and dry for the entire month of May. Is that affecting the algae right now? Oh, it's perfect for them. They like it warm. Cyanobacteria, blue green algae like it actually hot. They are bacteria, the warmer, the better. And the water isn't really flowing too much. So they like it when the water doesn't move around and wash them out of the system. Is this typical for this time of the year to see this kind of algae showing up right now? It's a little early and it could be because it's been so hot and warm that they came on a little sooner than we expected. They're always there in the water and it's just a matter of the conditions being right before they start to bloom. And the effects on us because we are all going out toward the water <clears throat> toward the water right now. We're enjoying the beaches and we're getting close to the water. We're boating the effects on us. I probably have a little bit right now getting into my throat. Yeah, and so the normal things you smell by the beach is from red tide. So red tide gives off a toxin, a known toxin, brevitoxin. We're still trying to figure out what the cyanobacteria might be giving off, if anything. So those effects are probably not from the cyanobacteria. And is it Lake O, uh, is it Lake o that's causing this, or are there other reasons for this? No, they're all over the whole canal system. Um, it, it's a long ways from Lake Okeechobee. The organisms, like I said, are here, and there's a lot of nutrients that flow in off the local watersheds, off the lawns and off the farm fields. Those are the kinds of nutrients that the cyanobacteria, the blue green algae need. And with the wet season expected to begin soon, is that going to have an impact? Will it finally wipe some of this away? It could push some out, but again, they don't like salt water. If you push a big slug of fresh water, you're going to push them further out into the estuary you're going to wash nutrients off the land that have accumulated for, for months now. So you're, you're extending where they can live and you're giving them some extra food. On the other hand, it's going to be more turbulent. It'll be mixed up more. And that is something they don't like. Okay, great answers there. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. That is Professor Barry Rosen from FGCU's Water School.